Hi heathens! So today's video is going to be a, I hate calling looks like this by me a tutorial because I clearly don't know what I'm doing, um, but it's kind of a tutorial. It's like my Valentine's glam tutorial. What would, it, what would you call this? A glam everyday Valentine's look? but I'm still walking you through the steps, but I don't want to like say I'm teaching you how to do it because it might turn out awful. I've never done it before. So I feel like a tutorial is like, yes, this is a tried and true. This is what we're doing. I'm going to start by prepping my face with the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I tried to make sure I had a handful of different like brands uh, for this video because I did get all of my stuff together. And I think... Uh, the only brand that's repeating is ColourPop, I think. So, doing pretty good there. Um, and I don't, when I say brands, I mean, not that I have a ColourPop brush that I'm using, but I don't really take the brushes into consideration because while they apply the product, pretty much any brush is going to do the same thing. You know what I mean? All right, so... We're going to start with eyes. So this is the first ColourPop product that I will be using, and it is the Too Hot Press Powder Palette, which is uh, a bunch of pinks. So I thought it was really appropriate for Valentine's Day because um, with this look, since it is going to be... Sorry, you just saw powder everywhere because this brush isn't fully clean. Um, since it is going to be more of a glam look, it's everyday. I still wanted to do... A pink eye because I feel like that's very classic with Valentine's Day and even if you're dressing it up it's I don't want to say expected because you can do whatever you want for whatever you want uh, I'm gonna tap into 2 a.m. which is the lightest pink shade uh, lightest matte pink shade because technically the shimmers are lighter and we're just gonna put that everywhere but I feel like if you went out oh this is not the brush for this I just got fall out all over the side of my nose because the brush just like flung it sideways um but we're gonna do the other eye the same way so that we can then wipe off my nose the same way uh like if you went out in a bright pink uh almost over the top kind of eye on valentine's day i don't think anyone would really think twice because pink is the color associated with valentine's day like, that's just the color, pink and red. So I'm going to tap in now to Flirt, which is the darker, kind of hot pink. And we are going to take this. And like I said, I am going to make this a glam look. And it's a full, full face. Not just like a sunny full face, but like, I have a bronzer picked out for this look, okay? This is a full face um so yeah we're just getting on into it I am taking that uh deeper hot pink shade on the outer and inner corner because we're gonna do like a halo eye for this look so trying to make the edges even while still having the outside edge be like rounded and kind of angled so I'm going to take the same brush, obviously, and do the same thing on the other eye. I mean, I say obviously because I'm doing the same step, but also obviously because it's me, because I pretty much always use the same brush unless I need a distinctly different color or, um, like, shape, you know? Like, if I'm going from crease to, like, if I wanted to line my eye with eyeshadow, I obviously would not use a brush this size. So, I'm saying obviously, but, like, I don't know if it's obvious. I mean, when I brush, brought the brush... When I brought the brush around... Hmm, new tongue twister, maybe? Uh, you would have seen that it was the same brush. So, I guess, yeah, then it would be obvious, but like a little sassy. I'm sorry, I'm kind of in a mood. <laughs> so 
So if this video has a little more sass than normal, that's why. It's been a, a weird, weird day trying to woosah, trying to still do my thing here because I really want to film this video and it's already a day late being filmed because I had stuff come up yesterday, which was my day to film. So my week is all off whack and I'm just, we're here. It's all good. Yeah. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to take, uh, let's do the Ivy, which is this middle shimmer. And I'm just going to take it with my finger and we are going to pop that on the middle of the lid, but focusing down here towards the eyelashes and kind of tapering out at the top so that you can still maybe see some of the first light pink shadow through it. still applying a little bit of shimmer up there to give you know the full effect I'm trying to make sure they're even this eye needs a little more shimmer and then scattered toward the top and then... okay so let me get the pink off my finger we are going to move into complexion before I go on to the bottom of my eye or do anything else to my eyes at all. We are going to be using uh, the foundation I tried for the first time in the haul video, which is the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows in Porcelain. Because I liked the way that this sat. I didn't get to wear it for too, too long. Just starting out with one pump. And then as always, I'm taking my ring finger and kind of mixing it around before putting it on my face. Um, but I like the way it sat. I like how it dried down. And I feel like this could be a really good, uh, like, you know, glam makeup foundation. Now, I did realize in that video that because of my lights, um... It looked like the other foundation would be quite a good match, too, on my hand. And I promise you, <laughs> it would not. Uh, so I will be doing another video. Yeah, this foundation definitely has a smell. I couldn't tell in that video um, because there was a lot going on, like, scent-wise. But I still can't place what the smell is. Uh, so I will be doing a video using the other foundation uh, with natural lighting. So that you can see how it looks because maybe I do need to use a darker foundation just when I'm doing videos if it's a look that I'm not going to be wearing out. Like this is a look that I could wear out, but I'm not going anywhere tonight. Does that make sense? You see what I'm doing? Like I'm doing this strictly for this video to give y'all an idea of what I would do if I was going out for Valentine's Day or like what you could do if you're going out for Valentine's Day. And kind of, in my mind, what I envision a Valentine's Day glam look to be. Now, that being said, if I'm doing a full face for just YouTube like this, maybe I should be using a foundation that's a little darker because the lights definitely wash me out. And I feel like that's why sometimes when I'm like freaking out over blush or bronzer and then I go back and watch the video, I'm like, hmm you can't tell how intense that was <laughs> because the artificial lighting uh, definitely tones it down. Um, whereas like with highlight, I feel like it's perfect for it because it really, it doesn't make it brighter, but it intensifies it. Just like if you were in direct sunlight, you know, it gives it that pop, that va va boom that you really, or that I really want from a highlighter. Um, trying to make sure that I've blended everything, because that is the other problem with uh, having artificial lighting. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I've missed a spot. 
because like right now to me it looks like I'm wearing highlighter already because of where the light bounces off the high points of my face and then I watch a video back and there's like a streak down my cheeks that I didn't blend out fully and I'm like oh my gosh are you kidding me I promise y'all I notice these things there's just nothing I can do about it short of completely scratching the video and refilming and because most of the time everything else is valid it's not worth scrapping because y'all know I didn't do that on purpose you know that's not part of the look all right so okay it did set down I'm gonna go in with the bronzer which is the J Cat Beauty Golden Salil Bake Bronzer in the shade 101 Coconut Island and I'm going to find the brush that I pulled out for it. I just grabbed this like giant brush that I've used for um, setting powder and bronzer in the past. And we're just going to knock off a little bit of that and take this down the cheek, like from hairline down and up onto the forehead. I don't know that I want to take my hair down for this video, even though in theory, if I was going out to eat, I'd probably do my hair nice. Like if it was like a full on, get ready, we're going out. Um, but I was moving around in my office at work today, not just like, oh, moving around. Like literally I switched offices uh, end of last week and today they brought the end of my desk because it's a like two piece desk and they only had one piece in stock last week so that came in today so I was moving all the stuff around my office and trying to get things reorganized and I got quite a bit sweaty so I don't know that taking my hair down is the best option because it probably looks like poop so we might just leave it up and you'll just have to pretend that there's like these gorgeous red locks flowing around my face. Yeah, can you do that? Is your imagination that good? Because mine's not. For blush, we're gonna go in with the Benefit, or not Benefit, the Balm Auto Balm Girl Powder. It's the Cheeks on the Go palette. And I'm going to just tap into this shade here, which is Houston Street. It has a little mirror in here that I'm just going to use. So I'm just going to take my brush and just tap, 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 tap. <laughs> and this is like a peachy sort of blush. And we're just going to take that all the way across, kind of up where we're going to be doing highlight. I love how makeup changes and evolves. <sighs> and it just seems so natural. To be like, oh yeah, that's, you know, the natural evolution of things when, like, people haven't changed and evolved. Like, we still flush in our face the same way that we did, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, but we're not applying blush to recreate that the same way. You know what I mean? Like, what is the... Went heavier on this side and there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm going to tap gently into Bourbon Street, which is the more pinky color. These are incredible incredibly pigmented y'all so just keep that in mind whoop yep see there we go might actually have to use my foundation brush to kind of blend that out again probably doesn't look near as pigmented to y'all so you're probably like mm, yeah okay you just don't like blush which I'm not crazy about blush but let me see if I can I don't know if you just can't see me now or if that helps you see at all how intense it is. But that's okay because it's not so intense. It's weird for me because I don't wear blush. But it's not so intense that if I were to go out, someone would be like, <gasps> which brings me back to my point. I feel like now when we see someone wear blush, I'm going to take the brush I was using for my eyeshadow pinch and go under my eyes just a little. Uh, if we see someone now do blush the way it was done like 10 or 15 years ago where it's just on the apples of the cheek it looks a little odd because we're so used to now seeing it like blown out across the cheek I just think that's funny I'm going to be using the Ofra Madison Miller highlighter in Moon Dance 
I was going to go for a more pink highlight. However, since this is more of a, like, everyday glam, I know that pink is not everyone's speed. So I wanted to do something with an icy look that I feel like more people would be likely to wear for, like, a dinner. And I was thinking, even though I've already done, like, a full monochromatic pink face, that I would do a more abstract Valentine's Day look. Like, that you would do for views or pictures or, you know, just for fun if you were going to have, like, a Valentine's Day party. And I could use a more uh, unusual highlighter then. Like, a really pink one or something. Or even the one that I've given a lot of love to in the past, which is the Shop Miss A uh, Halo Highlight. I need to put something on my lips. So my lips was going to be the So Juicy by ColourPop in Candy Coated, which is a pink gloss. I love this formula. My lips are so dry. like clinging to all the dry patches which is not cute but I can't imagine a matte lip would be doing much better right now so we're working with what we got okay I don't know if you heard that snort <laughs> calm down and as per my last few videos I'm sorry you're probably sick of seeing it but the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes because classic can't go wrong. I love this mascara. And I am trying to use up the ones that I have in here so that I can open a new one. So this has been like my video go-to and then my day-to-day -day go to has been the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex so that I can you know, open a new mascara and actually be trying something new for y'all because I'd love to do a uh, full face new or at least a like testing new products first impressions video soon um, and like just compile a few things. But I want to be able to like do a mascara because I have so many and I don't want to open a new one yet, you know? So I feel like just reusing these same ones. It's kind of like if you watch Allie Glines, I love her channel. And she has the most phenomenal lashes and eyes ever. And it makes me so jealous, but like in a good way. Um, but uh, she, she has a little series that she does called Full Face Using Nothing New. And I feel like that's kind of what I'm doing here. Like, you've seen it before. You know about it. But, like, I don't know that anyone who follows me is necessarily coming to me for the hot and new. You know what I mean? Like, if I review something that you're interested in, sure. But, like, no one's coming to me to be like, oh, Dior just released something. Wonder what Sunny's going to think about it. Because you know damn well I'm not buying nothing Dior right now. <laughs> I don't know that I ever will. But especially not right now, you know? A ColourPop release, maybe. Ah! That was straight in my eyeball. This is why I don't talk and do mascara. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna shut up for a second. Because I'm just complaining about literally nothing and poked myself straight in the eye. Like, right on the ball of my eye. So I'm going to take this little brush, and if you can see the mascara right under here, I'm just going to try to scrape that away just a little. Okay. Y'all got to tell me to quit talking while I'm doing mascara, man. That hurt. <laughs> Ow. My poor eyeball. All right, now I'm going to do, that's not what I want, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in Taupe. Just 
just to give a little definition to my sparse little hairs. And then I'll dip back in. This is starting to dry out, which makes me sad because I do really like this product. But maybe it'll come back around in Ipsy or BoxyCharm or wherever I got it from. This is like literally the perfect shade for me in a brow gel. Most of the others I have are either a little too dark or a little too red. This is like perf. Alright. Well that is it other than to set it. And let's use, I definitely have my little wispy hairs. I'm trying to think of a setting spray from a brand that I didn't just feature and I rearranged. So now my setting sprays aren't like right in front of me like they used to be. Um, let's see what's behind this one because that's a brand that I just found. Oh, let's use this one. That's not what I want. Here it is. The NYX Matte Finish. Yes, I've been using it a lot, but I didn't just talk about them. So, all right, let that dry down just a second and I will show you the close-up look and you'll have to let me know what you think. My eye still hurts, by the way. Yeah, I, I stabbed myself pretty good. I'm going to be real surprised if my eye isn't swollen tomorrow, actually. Normally when I poke myself in the eye with mascara, it's like a, oh, that sucks. But uh, that one, like, if I was standing up, that one probably would have knocked my knees out from under me, to be honest. Like, that was, <laughs> that was rough. And I just spit everywhere saying that. I am just a wreck tonight. I'm sorry. Um, all right. I think I am dry enough from the spray. You'll have to let me know your thoughts down below. Um, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? Let me know. We are probably just going to chill. Pretty sure it's a weekday, so I will be working. Yeah, because Friday is the 11th, and then that makes Valentine's Day Monday. So, uh, happy super early Valentine's Day. Uh, I'd love to hear y'all's plans down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. I will see you guys next time. Bye.